the competition between the United States and China, as well as the innovation that comes from the private sector, is driving the charging advancement of military technology. Drones, artificial intelligence, quantum computing, lasers, and robotics will all become increasingly common. While keeping a close eye on the Ukraine conflict and other global tensions, the military is increasingly focused on technological solutions that could potentially give the U.S. an advantage in the conflict. However, the U.S. Navy recently admitted to having advanced and lethal technology that will send shivers down your spine. A sophisticated laser so powerful, that it can vaporize pretty much everything in its path. What exactly is this technology, and how will it be used by the U.S. Navy? Join us as we unlock the secrets of the U.S. Air Force's high-powered lasers and how they could change the future of warfare forever. Even though development of the ultra-short pulsed lasers has been ongoing since the early 70s, the U.S. Air Force have just recently turned this technology into a highly versatile weapon system that can be adapted to fit many different military vehicles and equipment. These types of weapons, known as directed energy weapons, are now becoming a reality. The weapons can take the form of high-energy lasers, high-power radio frequency or microwave devices, charged or neutral particle beam weapons, and other similar technologies. Lasers and microwaves are both components of the electromagnetic spectrum, which also includes light energy and radio waves. Laser weapons and microwave weapons function in very different ways and produce very different effects. Think of the difference between a laser pointer and a flashlight. The lethality of directed energy weapons is determined by the amount of energy transferred to the target over time. This concentrated energy has the potential to have effects ranging from non-lethal to lethal. The USPL system uses ultra-short incredibly high-powered laser pulses. These short bursts of energy have such a unique ability to cut, weld and melt materials that they can slice through metals, shatter glasses and even destroy electronic systems in a flash without even causing heat damage to the surrounding area. Which makes it perfect for a variety of military applications, such as recognizing targets, determining their range, and disabling or demolishing enemy hardware. When this laser is fired its energy is quickly absorbed by any material it is aimed at, causing it to heat up and expand almost instantaneously. In terms of numbers, this laser dishes out a whopping trillion watts for just one quadrillionth of a second. Although the statistics may be difficult to comprehend, the entire system is able to fit into a single, compact device, allowing extreme mobility combined with devastating power. For reference the intensity of these beams can be as much as one million times greater than the sun. But the ultra-short pulsed laser is not only a destructive device, it can also be used for non-lethal applications such as precisely disabling electronic systems or temporarily blinding enemies. While it is still in the prototype phase, this laser is likely to be a game-changer for multiple sectors, even outside of the military and is set to be deployed and used on the field very soon. The Navy later issued a statement describing the laser as efficient and effective in defending against enemy drones or small armored boats. When any other laser hits a hard material, it vaporizes it into plasma forming a sort of protective plasma cloud in front of the target this can hinder further damage against it. But the USPL systems manage to fire off pulses at such fast rates that they can hit fast moving targets before this shield is even formed. Another useful side effect of this pulsing is a phenomenon called electromagnetic shock that can cause physical damage to a target's electronic systems, or even cause them to explode. This revolutionary laser technology also utilizes the power of specialized, high-strength fibers made from specially coated materials that amplify light as it travels through them. This results in beams that are not only incredibly powerful, but also fast, able to travel at lightning speeds of up to 300,000 km per second, making it nearly impossible to evade. This level of power and precision greatly enhances the laser's ability to deliver devastating strikes. But how exactly is this ultra-powerful beam produced? It works by creating a group of excited atoms or molecules, which emit light, in a specific direction and at a specific wavelength. It has three core components. A light amplifying medium, that is called the gain medium, a resonator which is a reflective housing that contains the gain medium and bounces the light back and forth through the gain medium, and a pumping source, which is used to excite the atoms or molecules in the gain medium to a higher energy level. When the pumping source is activated, 
it causes some of the atoms or molecules in the gain medium to become excited and move to a higher energy level, emitting light. This light is reflected back and forth through the gain medium, amplifying it, creating a concentrated beam of light. This beam of light is then passed through a series of mirrors and lenses which shape and focus the laser beam into a concentrated ultra-short pulse of extreme electromagnetic energy. According to leading military experts, it is the USPL's different beam configurations that makes it a weapon of choice. This includes a multiple beam configuration along with the sweep mode. The sweep mode allows the laser to rapidly scan an area and identify threats in a matter of seconds. While the multiple beam configuration allows it to generate multiple laser beams at once, making it possible to target several targets all at once. This makes it a game changer in high intensity situations where there are many enemies present, as it allows the US Air Force to efficiently and swiftly eliminate threats with surgical precision. However, as with any high-energy prototype weapon system, this weapon generates a ton of heat. To combat this, the tactical ultra-short pulse laser is equipped with robust and advanced cooling systems, including a combination of air and liquid cooling technologies. The cooling system adjusts its level based on the amount of heat generated, allowing for maximum efficiency and energy conservation. The beam pointing control system ensures the laser is pointed in the desired direction using sensors and algorithms for constant tracking and adjustments. Together, these control systems allow the USPL to deliver a highly focused, stable beam of energy with incredible accuracy. This powerful and efficient weapon system requires minimal maintenance while at the same time offering a long lifespan, something that is extremely important for long military operations where reliability is key and support is scarce. A true tide turner, it will soon become a key part of the US Air Force's arsenal, and is definitely technology that we should keep an eye out for. Let us know what you think about this technology in the comments. As always thank you for watching our video. See you in the next one.